Hey, Mark Nelson. Now what I want to do is show you how you can change color schemes inside a funnel. Again, I use ClickFunnels. And if you're working with me right now inside your account under your funnels, you have probably uploaded a shared funnel for me. And it could be a, a, called different things. I renamed it, but it's called Copy of Profile Funnel. And this is what it looks like. This is a mock funnel made up. It's actually just a, a two-page funnel. And what we're gonna do is show you how to change colors with that. So this was my first color. I picked a color of red. And to tell you the truth, I liked it, but it really doesn't match up on my Facebook profile page. So I'm actually gonna to try to do a different one. I'm gonna change everything. This was the step-by-step uh, -step blueprint to setting up your own profitable business. I'm gonna try another one. And just to share with you what it was. Now this one, I used one color, a red. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a really cool tool. It's a Canva color wheel. And this is it. And what happens, it's, it's the color theory and the color rule. If you get in here and see if I can move around. If you move around, it, it goes all different colors. And it shows you a complementary one and uh, the two complementary colors. But what I want to do is when you get in here, I want to go get you to go out the outside. I'm just going to pick one. And if you scroll around here, you can kind of watch the colors turn, but, and I'm in that white wheel back there. And again, when I came the first time, I can't remember what, I think I picked the brightest red. But I want to try, you know, every color means something, and I don't put a lot of stock into it, but I do want to try a blue. And I've always been a blue man. And what I want to do, I'm, I'm probably going to try two colors, so this is the blue I'm picking, and it's dark, but I'm just gonna copy that color. And I'm on a Mac, so I do a command copy, and then I'm just gonna go back inside my funnel. And what I'm gonna try to do is all these places that have this blue in it, I'm gonna change it. Now, again, this is a dark color, so I, I might have to put a different color in or, or change uh, the color I order, but I, again, I just want to show you. So what I want to do is up here, it says attention, insert target market. I hit that color wheel and then I go down. See, this is the blue and it says text blue. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go, I want this one. And it shows up that one and it's a little dark. So I don't know if I can do it or not. And I missed all of that, it missed the attention. So we'll see what we got. I'm going to hit that bold color and I'm going to hit change that. And I'm going to get, there's one more I thought I had changed. No, that's all three. And see, so I've changed everything up here and it might be too dark if you see that, but we'll, we'll mess with that because I, I like that blue to go against the color. So then what I do is I'm going to go to, right, this is in blue. So I'm going to do the same thing. I go, I highlight it and I hit the wrong thing, so I'm just gonna get out of that. I, I go for this little wheel, I click on it, and there's my blue. And I go, nope, I don't want that. And I go Command V, and there's a, that is a dark blue. I don't know, oh, well, we'll see. It shows up well there if I'm kind of, but I, I want it to really pop. So I, I might have to do something else. And when I go down here, I'm just gonna change everything, but here's my other blues. Remember, I got to get the orange up, and I hit change that. There's one. I got to change that. There's two, and then I got to change this one. And there's three. And I go to the next one. I get the orange bar up, and I got to go to this one. I go to that. And I got to do. Remember, the last one I had three, so I'm going to do three of them again. And I'm going to go there, and I'm going to go three of them again, and I'm going to go there, and there's the third one. So I got it. I'm going to go to the third one. Now it pops there. It didn't really pop on the background, and I'm going to kind of might have to do with that. And I've just got that blue one. I, again, I want the orange. You got to get the orange up, and then you go to this. And how many did I say? Oh, I know, I said three. I really didn't grab the right blue because it's almost kind of a purple, but that's okay. 
for the, the experience that what I'm showing you is is fine. And on the next one, I'm going to show you something else I might have changed by then already. So I've done that and I go down one more and it says, hello, your name. I'm, I, I'm going to change that. I'm going to keep that in white. Uh, but then I go down this last bar and again, I'm going to hit change. I just got that. And I got to change that color. Um, and that's that. Now, the way it looks is if I keep that, it actually looks to be, when it's against a white background, it looks like it pops. So you, what you want to do is you want people to see that. So uh, make sure you always save. I'm not done though, and you aren't done. Is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to pop up, because we're going to show pop up. And see here, there are some again. And I'm going to change this, there's that border outline, and nope, that's not there. I'm going to go change this. I thought that was a border outline. And I'm going to change that. And what ClickFunnels does is that they show things in your pop-up and in, excuse me, uh, in your pop-up and, oops, I changed the wrong color. Uh, where did that go? Settings. I gotta get back here. And for somewhere I got a, I did not put edit pop-up settings. I didn't get a color. So I did something to it, so I'm going to have to look at that. Now again, if this happens to you, we're just going to put, uh, it says font family, require placeholder text input, themes, not there, advanced, I don't have it, and I just didn't get a color. I, I clicked out of something there, and that's not cool. I'm going to try to figure that out right real quick, and if I can't, I'll just come back and do it again. I hit something, I clicked on something, and it took uh, it took my color wheel out. Interesting. I'm going to have to look at that how that worked because I did something that I wasn't supposed to. Um, so to tell you the truth, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to leave this. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm just going to share So I did not save that, right? And now I'm going to come back in here and edit it. I'm going to save what happened. I saved the first things. Now, if this doesn't, this is just a test. I mean, we're all, right, you're, everything kind of does the same thing. So, again, what did I do? I was doing the pop-up. Um, so, in this loading editor comes up. We'll see what happens. Now, that one changed, but I'm going to go to show pop-up. And yes, whatever didn't happen. Ha! I want to tell you I'm really smart, but there it is. This is what happened. I didn't know what that was. So I just didn't save it, which I was fortunate, but I'm going to change that color. Command V, there we go. And then I had this also. Um, the coolest part about this is I've used other companies for funnel. Click funnels is so cool because it just lets you do whatever you want. Now, what happens? If I click, I don't think I looked at that before. No, nope, that doesn't have a, uh, if I want that, I just got to click save and it's there. So, and I'm going to keep it saved. Again, I don't know if I like this color, but I'm just going to show you. Now, that is on desktop. So let's see what's going on with mobile. Uh, all the colors changed, so I'm good to go. Oh, that's what I did. I clicked out of the. Um, I deleted the bar, and that pops up there. So I'm good, and you're good. That's all you have to do to change all your numbers. My next video, and if you come up to this, I might have changed colors, but I'm going to do is show you how you can get a really cool background on your funnel. Again, this is the funnel wheel, 
and I will probably play with this. I, I like this green because I thought I was going to use that as a secondary color. And as I come down, it kind of changes. Um, but I'm a blue man. Blue is res for responsible people. And I got too much color. So I'll probably, when you come back, I'll probably have changed it to uh, something a little bit more blue. And see where that complementary comes. See, again, I can change it here. I don't want to do that, though. And I don't want to do that. Again, for your purposes, stay on the outside. Pick your color. What you want. And I might go a lighter blue with that for my background color. We'll just play. You'll see what I got going. All right, you take care. Hope we're having fun. Again, this is a canva.com colors color wheel, but I will put a link below so you can get a hold of that too. You take care. See you on the next day. Bye.